Hello, my name is Heather. I will be informing my audience of the top five places in the world to visit. I actually made my list based off of multiple lists that I found online. The first place that I came up with was London. There's already so much to see in London, it's such a big place, so it may be overwhelming to people. So I selected certain spots that you have to see. That the two I actually came up with are the Tower of London and the Buckingham Palace. The Buckingham Palace is the official London residence and principal workplace of the British monarch. And they, op they also give out tours. All you gotta do is purchase a ticket. You can actually also tour at the Tower of London also, but once again you need to do you need to buy a ticket. The next one on the list is New York City. New York City is a huge city and is very popular within the US. Once again, it also has many places to visit, like the Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge is actually one of the oldest suspension bridges in the United States. Next is Central Park. Central Park is located in the city of Manhattan and the actual park is over a mile large. Next is Ground Zero. Ground Zero is actually a memorial that was built in the place of the Twin Towers and is dedicated to all those whose lives were lost on September 11, 2001. The next one on my list is Rome. Rome is one of those cities that you can be at for years and feel like you haven't even scratched it. So some of the major places that I thought were nice to see were the Colosseum, which is actually an elliptical amphitheater in the city, in the center of Rome. Next is the Spanish Steps. The steps were actually named after the Spanish Ambassador. And then finally, the Trevi Fountain. The fountain lies in a small piazza off of Via del Triton. The fourth city on my list is Paris. When anyone thinks of Paris, they think of love and you know you don't have to be on a honeymoon in order to go to Paris. The first thing on my list for Paris is the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is an iron lattice tower located on the Champ de Mars. Next up is the Louvre. The Louvre is actually one of the world's largest museums that is shaped like a pyramid. And finally on my list is Honolulu, Hawaii. Honolulu, Hawaii, everyone wants to go there because, well, it's in Hawaii. It's on an island and it's beautiful. I've actually lived on Hawaii and I really enjoyed my time there. So these three places in Hawaii are actually chosen by me because I've been there and I've actually really enjoyed myself. The first place is Diamond Head. Diamond Head is actually an, an inactive volcano that you can actually hike up. When you get to the top, there's a beautiful view. You can see the ocean, you can see houses. And then when you get when you get to the top, you can see that almost every house has a pool. Next up is Hanama Bay. Hanama Bay is a beautiful bay that has different parts to it. Hanama Bay has beautiful clear water and it's great to swim in, great to snor snorkel. You know, it's just really, really a lot of fun. And finally, but not least, is Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor has all the ships that were sunk and all the planes that were shot down. It's basically a memorial to Pearl Harbor. Well, that's my top five list. I hope you enjoyed it.